Hi, welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video, we'll be continuing with the shot MM005. In part two, we will be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. Okay, so we've opened up Maya. So, the first thing that we want to do is go to File, Import. And if we go to where we exported out our camera and all the data, so I've saved mine in file. So, if you go to where you've exported out, you want to click on this mail script and if you click import and it should bring in a scene into your outliner so if we double click this and rename it to mm to match move and under that group you should have a camera which is your sequence camera with all your keyframes and this other camera which is your lens camera you can delete that because you don't not, do not need it anymore so now if you go to your panels up at the top here click on it go to perspective and click on that, uh, your camera. You can now look through your camera. It's going to be quite heavy because it comes in automatically with the original plate. So, first of all, what we need to do is if we go to this little icon here that, has, that says select camera, then go over to the right where it says attribute editor, go up to the top here and press right on this arrow and go to image plane shape. So if we change this to 0 0.7 and we change our color space to raw and we change our depth to one, but now we need to switch out our image sequence with our understory plate. So if we click on this little file, if we go to where we exported our, or rendered out our understory plate, so it'll be in here under the UDP click the first frame click open now you can click use image sequence and now if you scroll through your timeline it should be much quicker so our next step would be to load in our set geo so if we go file import lighthouse data set geo set geo we go lighthouse scan and import because say for instance say if your whole entire production team have been modeling a lighthouse and they've placed it in this area and they need your camera to be in the exact place that they need it to be they don't want to be moving stuff around you you need to make sure your camera works to the to the set so as we see here it's all coming it looks perfect and if we go to our perspective and perspective view oh, if we zoom out and we can see that we've got I'll set Geo here. Camera is probably ooh. camera's here. So all these scenes are real world scale. So they may be quite large, depending on how far you're going, uh, what sort of if you're doing any extensions. But this is um, at the moment I keep everything at real world scale. Cool. So that's uh, everything done my wise. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the, this uh, image sequence and this uh, match move uh, section and um, we'll move on to the next one. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.